We also have Ryan Sullivan saying, Sean, how can you sit here acting like uh, you have morals when you employ Joel Pearl? He has been known to partake in dark sacrifices. How else do you explain how he makes predictions come true? Also, is there any plan with Moss? Well, let me tell you about Joel Pearl. He's running around with my Fightful Championship. He's trying to squeeze his way onto the show. and So I'm hanging out at home, and suddenly someone sends me a press release from Sean Ross Sapp, and it says, Coming to Toronto. This dork. This giant dork wants a shot at my Fightful Championship. Buddy, they call me the forever champ for a reason. And by the way, I ain't the only one who thinks that you're just a huge, giant dork. Take a look. Sean Ross Sapp is a huge dork. Sean Ross Sapp is a dork. Sean Ross Sapp is a huge dork. If I could tarp off anyone in the world, it'd be Sean Ross Sapp. Working with Sean Ross Sapp over the past couple of years, I've learned that he's a gigantic dork, a nerd, a pencil pusher, and Joel Pearl's gonna kick the shit out of him. I mean, yeah, Sean's a huge dork. He's as big of a dork as he is tall. Like, as big of a dork as he is hardworking. He's a huge dork. I'm sitting here at the crib. I got a big stack of comic books over there. I got a WrestleMania chair over there. There's a fucking Sasha Banks stand up somewhere in the room. That's some pretty dorky shit. But I will never in my entire life be as big of a fucking dork as you, Sean Ross Sapp, you fucking dork. So you see, Sean, there were others, hundreds of submissions calling you a huge, giant dork. But we couldn't fit them all in, you big, giant dork. That was an abysmal promo. Wow. That was miserable. That was horrible. That was... So, yeah. so for those of you who don't know, Jimmy had an actual Fightful Championship made years ago. He gave it to Melissa. I guess she won it. I guess she technically beat me up. Melissa used to produce our show. Doesn't show up to work anymore. Doesn't work <laughs> in the offices. Eventually, uh, and he, J Jimmy swore I would never win this championship. Ever. Ever. And the rules are, it can be defended at any time. There's just got to be a camera and somebody to count the pin. At, at some point, when Melissa like kicks stall doors into my head and, and just gives me concussions joel just calls her up on the phone and she wakes up and she's like yeah sure you can have it and he's never defended it once i got a guy calling me a dork by the way in a miserable promo that wasn't even entertaining i got a guy in a pineapple hawaiian shirt rob yeah. he's in canada yeah. i've got to book long pants for my trip next week yeah i well hold I on. i'm not done hannah's wearing a peppa pig shirt Peppa Pig? <laughs> Kate doesn't even have a Twitter. She doesn't exist in this world. Stephen Jensen, ponytails were out two years ago. I cut mine. They, they've, been, they've been long gone for two and a half years. Jeremy, Jeremy's team just traded for Baker Mayfield. I don't think I need to say a whole hell of a lot there. They basically traded him for Buff Bagwell's Twitter account. Then I got Seahawk, who has... Never got any bitches in his life. Not a <laughs> single one. Never touched a cheek. Ever. Never left a handprint. Not a once in his life. And then I got Joel Pearl out here just cutting a WWE style promo. Because I'm Joel Pearl and Sean Ross Sapp is a big dork. Come on. I ain't getting buried by Peppa Pig. That's that, pissing that, me the hell off. I don't know who he was cosplaying as, Joe Joe Gacy or uh, Bray Wyatt or a comic. I wish he'd cosplay as somebody who could cut a goddamn promo, Rob. That would wow. be nice. Then maybe I could build some interest in, in, in my crowning moment, my big moment, but whatever.